Good morning from Grand Bahama, uh, where I'm currently running late. <laughs> I have like three minutes to get across a 10 minute walk. So let's see if we make our excursion or not today. I'm supposed to be looking for the Harley Davidson store, but I don't see it. Uh, it's very confusing. There's no signs or anything. So hopefully, find out where I'm supposed to be going. Of course, I'd already passed it. I was literally saying I didn't know where I was going. Ugh, right when I was passing it, to right back over here. I knew that I had to be going the wrong way because you really get outside the port area back that way. But uh, I feel really dumb now. Should be paying attention, but where I'm going better. But it just shows you the kind of morning that I'm having. It's very early. It's only uh, 7.55, 8 o'clock now. So uh, uh, not a good start here in Freeport. So now I'm here, but I don't see anyone else um, to the group or anything. There's no one holding signs or anything. So either I was too late and I missed it or they're just not here yet. So through way, um, I don't know, it's not looking good. There's some other groups coming back here that are coming from the ship on the Royal Caribbean sponsored excursions. This one is not the one I'm supposed to be going on. So um, yeah, maybe SLO today, huh? All right, so I did just ask, and it's not me that was late. It's someone else. I'm, we're waiting on a bus to someone that's late. So we're still going to Paradise Cove today. That's the excursion that I booked. It's just a private beach day. Uh, just a final day of the cruise, just to relax and sit on the beach um, and be sad that the cruise is almost over. But yeah, so looks like we're still going. The bus is coming around. Uh, there's me and a few other people waiting here. And uh, so hopefully we'll be heading out here in a minute and getting onto the beach. There are hard things begin always the month of June. So we've been having some uh, hot days, uh, dry days, little scattered showers every now and then, but now we have the most uh, a down, heavy downfall rain at this time. I hope the train around the world and throughout where we have a uh, less stormy weather this year because we are still recuperating and rebuilding from the last hurricane in 2017, sorry, 2019. That was Hurricane Doreen in 2019. We still are rebuilding, recuperating. Government is still spending millions of thousands of dollars trying to get things back together. And no jobs around, much just like that. Now this plan here is at a power plant that service the whole island of Grand Bahama from the east end to the west end. Now the building there was, uh, it's amazing to see a tree growing up in the building there, yeah? On the concrete, haha, <laughs> boy. So after about a 30 minute ride in the van from the port area, we've made it to Paradise Cove. Uh, it's a very, very cloudy, overcast day. And actually it's been raining the entire time here. See some oil rigs down there, just off the coast here. Um, apparently there's supposed to be good snorkeling here. I'm not gonna do any of that. I just wanted a place to sit out and hang out by the beach today. But unfortunately it's turned out to be uh, pretty crappy. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is Paradise Cove. There's not many people at all here. I'm one of, I think, four people total that's visiting here today. These clouds are actually the makings of Tropical Storm Elsa, which is making her way through the Bahamas over the next few days. I think primarily after I leave the Bahamas tomorrow, she just can't let it go.
So finally, after a very rainy start, after I just got here earlier, the rain came down very hard for about 30 to 45 minutes. First 30 to 45 minutes, it was just pouring rain. So that finally stopped. Been able to hang out here on the beach, uh, walked a little bit out in the water. You can actually walk a pretty good ways out in that water and still just be, you know, maybe knee high, knee to waist high water. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat. There's a lot of uh, re coral reefs out here, and so a lot of folks come here to Paradise Cove to do some snorkeling. This is actually called Dead Man's Reef, and um, several folks are here now. Uh, more folks have come in since got here this morning uh, to go out and do some snorkeling. I've never done snorkeling before. Maybe someday, but not today. I'm really tired today. The seven-day cruise is really getting to me, but. Um, just gonna enjoy the afternoon here. I think we're probably be departing here around two o'clock. It's currently about 11. So a few hours to hang out here on the beach before heading back to the ship. Our final day on the beach for this trip. really enjoying my day here at Paradise Cove with the rain this morning it didn't really feel that great and I didn't think I was gonna have a good time but as the suns came out and the water has like illuminated this perfect blue um, things have just really come together and the mood has lightened a bit and the day has gotten progressively better as it's gone on so just ordered some chicken wings from the restaurant here and also just gonna sit and have a coke and some chicken wings and uh, enjoy the day only a couple hours left here unfortunately uh, but it's nice to just be on the beach um, and just enjoy can't really swim here flip back around uh, like I said the water is really shallow you see the break out there the deeper water on the other side of that but that's all in here I mean you can walk and be knee to waist deep so it's not bad at all uh, but not you can't really swim that well so I guess it's good for snorkeling but not really for swimming or really submerging yourself in water. We got an order of chicken wings here at Paradise Cove and also got myself a cold pop, a Coca-Cola. So this looks really good and I'm really hungry because it's been I got up so early it's been now about six hours since I had breakfast. So it's now 2 p.m. and almost time to head back to the ship. It has been a great day here at Paradise Cove. Now I did book the all-day excursion. I think it was around 40 bucks total that I paid. That's transportation. Uh, you know you have access to the beach, the snorkeling, the chair, the food, the beverages, everything like that is separate. They do offer multiple packages though that include things like that. So uh, if you are interested in coming here when you're in Freeport, Paradise Cove is the name. Just check them out and see what packages might appeal to you. But had a really good time. The owner has actually been sitting here with us um, all day talking. Very nice and friendly. So everyone here on the staff has been very helpful and friendly. So I've enjoyed my day and I would absolutely come back here uh, if I'm in Freeport again.
All right, so we've made it back to the ship successfully now. Um, my first time in Freeport. Freeport's a very industrial port, so I highly recommend if you are coming here, you get an excursion because it's this is all there is in this port area is just shops and things like that. So unless that's all you want to do, you want to get an excursion because very industrial port here. Uh, certainly not one of my favorite ports. I can get why people don't like coming here, but. Uh, you know it wasn't terrible and i did enjoy my excursion but just a word of advice have an excursion if you're coming here something to do to leave the port area there's actually still a lot of businesses and things in here that haven't even opened back up yet i mean this is only the second or third well this is the third time this is the third ship and it's actually the same ship because it's the third time it's been here but the adventure of the sea has not been here three times this is the first cruise ship that freeport has seen since the cruising shutdown so even the senior frogs you see over there are still not open all right just got back to the room oh so good to be back on board so hot outside um i did get two things the first uh you know yesterday on the sea day i got my covid antigen test you got the results back from that not detective so i'm cleared to fly back in the united states and then also got this nice little welcome back to adventure certificate thank you for being among the first guests to set sail with us again adventure of the seas it has my name and the dates of this sailing so a nice little touch here on the last day of the cruise let's just take in this amazing view this afternoon from the port of freeport Right up there you can see uh, toward the right of the screen the Carnival Legend and the Carnival Conquest. Those are both in dry dock. Freeport is of course a popular port for dry dock because it is so close to Miami, Fort Lauderdale. They can get the ships over here, get the dry dock work that they needed. When we went by the Conquest earlier, they didn't have any lifeboats on it. And uh, so I'm sure it's gonna be there for a while. They had some cranes up next to it. Um, and I don't the legend looks like it could go out at any time. It looks pretty good But uh pretty cool to see some ships here in dry dock They said the elation was in port last week and there's actually some of her lifeboats over there So they must have gotten a refresh on those Okay, so I've been wanting to try the room service since I've been on board I did try it for breakfast, but I wanted to try the lunch. Uh, this is the royal burger with fries This is the Caesar salad with chicken and the hot wings. I got way too much food, way too close to dinner, but I did want to try it. It is $7.95 convenience fee, uh, regardless of what you order. Even if you just ordered the Caesar salad, it would still be a $7.95 convenience fee for everything outside of breakfast. Breakfast is complimentary delivery to your room. Everything else is $7.95 flat rate. Plus I think 18% gratuity charge. The last night of the cruise, all the luggage in the hallway sitting out such a sad sight. It's all over very, very soon. Good evening. What a day it has been from waking up super tired, much earlier than I anticipated after going to bed much later than I wanted to last night. I had a great day at the beach and I got so burnt. My legs were burnt, my feet were burnt. So it's been a very painful evening, but I did have a good evening last night at dinner. Um, just a wonderful, service in the dining room all throughout the cruise so shout out to my dining team you guys were wonderful thank you for keeping me company and keeping me well fed all throughout the course of the cruise the food not really going to show pictures tonight because it's stuff that i've already shown i think except the appetizer which was coconut shrimp use your imagination but a very good meal again i can honestly say that the food on this cruise is the best food i've had on any of the cruises i've been on and i've been on i think 11 or 12 cruises now so super high praise and like all the thumbs up for the dining staff in the main dining room 
So now I'm gonna pack up a little bit because tomorrow is debarkation day, very sadly. Uh, but I do have a 12 p.m. flight back to the United States. So I do have to get up somewhat early and get off the ship and take rollers transfer over to the airport. But I'm not done. I'm gonna take you with me. So make sure you come back next time as we debark the adventure of the seas and head home. And then I'll tell you what I thought of the cruise, the protocols and everything. So you don't wanna miss that. So come back, make sure you subscribe down below, share this video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, ready to end the cruise. Sad. Good night, everybody.